So this episode is going to be way different. We're not going to do any music in this episode. We're not going to go in the studio. This is it right here. I'm just going to come at you guys, uh, be real, give my commentary on what's going on in society right now. I struggled with this at first because... I usually don't get political, as you guys probably have seen all my other content. I don't get political. I don't talk about issues usually of race or social stuff. I stay out of that stuff. But I kind of feel like what's going on now is something that I can't ignore. And it's not something I can just breeze over and not talk about. And again, I already talked about it on the pod, but I wanted to come and bring it to this platform, which is my vlog, because I know I have people watching this. What I first struggled with was, this is my honest truth. I'm gonna just be 100% with you guys. What I struggled with a lot was posting on social media. And so the reason I hadn't posted it at first, in the back of my mind, only because I've seen what's gone on with the social media world, but in the back of my mind, anytime anybody posts anything on social media, in my head I'm like, there's a little bit of clout. You wanna do it a little bit for clout. Which isn't bad, I... Promoting my own music, you know? I'm doing it because I wanna create a life for myself. And don't let anybody lie and tell you they're so righteous. They're not, nobody is. Nobody on social media just posts, right? Because there's always an ulterior motive. And in my head, I was like, uh, right? But two things hit me. Number one, what hit me was the fact, so the town I live in is called Walnut Creek. Apparently, I guess it's all over Twitter what's going on in Walnut Creek. I don't check Twitter, so I have no clue. I don't care about Twitter. But... There's like riots and looting going on. We have a curfew. I, I think you can't leave your house at, after 6. I think it's like 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. You can't leave your house. Um, our like downtown, like Broadway Plaza is like this downtown shopping district where we have. It's destroyed. Some woman got shot yesterday in downtown Walnut Creek. I mean, this is getting wild. Um... So that number one is like, okay, I need to say something now because it's in my town. It's less than two miles away. The second thing was realizing that, look, here's my personal opinion. If you have any kind of audience or platform or notoriety or fame or money or anything, in my opinion, it's your responsibility. And I'm not going to tell people what to do, but it's your responsibility to talk and to say things and to like speak up. You know what I mean? Because I think with great power comes great responsibility. And so I've always felt that way. That's my personal opinion. I've heard rappers say different, but I disagree with them. And I've always felt that way and I felt like right now what's going on is so crazy and it's so powerful that like I have to do what I believe in. What I believe in is speaking up and like I feel like because I have a platform, like I have to speak up. Like I'm not big at all by any means like you guys know where I'm at right now like I don't I'm not famous I don't have major cloud I'm not you know what I mean but the reality is I have a lot of followers that I've never met in person like a lot and I get engagement I don't get tons of likes and tons of comments but the comments that I get are high quality comments and the comments that I get I'm not saying this to brag I'm just telling you where I'm at the comments that I get are like people who have been connected with me and I don't even know what they look like I've never met them in person. They're in different parts of the world. So like, I have that platform. And I looked and I go, dude, I gotta take responsibility and speak up. So I put out a podcast this week and the title of it is What Is Going On? Uh, where I talk longer, but I wanted to get up on the vlog and talk too. I just feel like it's, I can't put out a, my content and just ignore this stuff. So, you know, what's going on is insane. Um, where I'm at with it is I'm extremely it's so hard for me like what I'm struggling with is what is right and wrong what is right and wrong to me what's right and to me what's wrong isn't what's right and wrong that's what I think so like I talked about this on the pod but like people got 
people are getting really upset about the people looting and rioting. Now, first things first, I hate that that's happening. I don't like violence and I don't like businesses being damaged, especially with the COVID-19. Like all these businesses were closed down the past two months, three months. They're finally opening back up and then boom, this happens. Their, their business gets damaged. Because they, and they didn't do anything wrong. What did they do? Like what did we do in Walnut Creek? We didn't do anything wrong. Why, why, should, why should we have to suffer? I'm not racist. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Why is it now I have, I have to have a curfew? I'm not, this isn't against the law. It's smart that I have a curfew, but why should I have to be subject to that? But with that same thing, the other side of it is if you're a black person and you walk out of your house, you're getting looked at differently. Right? When you get in your car, if you're a black person, and you get in your car, you might get pulled over for nothing. You have to live with that and you might lose your life. Right? Like, so I can't sit here and be so upset and not see the other side of it. The other thing too is it's, I'm not promoting violence at all, but I also look at it and go, God, it's so hard for me. Like the, like the saying that we used to hear, violence is not the answer. I just can't 100% believe that 100% of the time. Is violence the answer always? No, absolutely not. You don't need to be violent. But sometimes, like, somebody might not get the message until you put that pressure on them. I get it. I'm not saying it's right. I don't believe in it. I'm not going to go loot. I don't want people to do it. But I also look at the people looting and rioting and I'm like, I kind of get it. Like, I understand where you're coming from. Um anger and fear are very powerful emotions I know for me personally when it comes to me working on music or doing my podcast or putting out all of the content and doing all of the work I have to do I'll tell you something the days that I get the most work done are when I'm pissed off when I'm frustrated with my current situation when I think about my dark side and I channel that those inner demons and I channel that toward work I get the most done when I'm doing pull-ups and push-ups, I'm not sitting here happy and jolly and, oh, yay, I get to do some pull-ups, la dee da No, I'm like thinking about stuff that pisses me off, and then I go rep those pull-ups. So anger is a very motivating emotion. So is fear. Like people will do things if they're afraid, you know? So I get it. I get it. I don't like it. I don't agree with it, but I understand it. Um... What's going on in this country isn't right. It's it's not okay that. It's not okay that because of the color of your skin you get looked at differently. That's not right. Like my black friends shouldn't have to just be able to shouldn't, have to walk into Walgreens or whatever, and people look at oh you're black Ugh. like people get all scared. Like if you're watching this and you're white, like I am, you probably never walked on a train and felt different. But like when black people walk on a train, they get looked at. Like that's 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 reality. I know because I have friends who are black and they've told me. And so I like abs, you know. But and let me guys, let me tell you guys another thing too. When it comes to the whole like police thing, I can't sit here and say f the police. Like I'm not that type of person. The cops that do bad things and get away with it, I hate those people, obviously. Like, they should be in jail. But I'm not going to sit here and go, F the police. No, F... No. I don't think that at all. I have... I know four people off the top of my head who are police officers. Who are amazing people. So I, like, like police. And... The other thing, too, is, like, where the situation we're in. Like, I'm in Walnut Creek. And... It's actually dangerous right now in Walnut Creek. It's not safe. Like, I'm depending on police right now to keep me safe. Because there's nothing stopping people from just marching up into my neighborhood. No, nothing. Like, we don't have, like... Like, it could happen. But, like, the people who are our armed forces, the police officers, the men and women who are going out there trying to control everything are, like, protecting me. Like right now. And so like I I appreciate them. You know? 
if there's a bad cop out there, obviously don't appreciate that person. But like anybody out there, just so you know, if you say like all cops are bad, cops are bad people, I hate cops, like I'm not your friend and I'm not a fan. Sorry. If that makes you hate me, cool. I don't, I, bye. Unfollow me, unsubscribe. See ya. That's, I'm not a fan of yours and you don't need to be a fan of mine because I don't feel that way about police and I appreciate police. Yeah, just like I appreciate people in the military. Same thing. If it wasn't for our military, like, countries could just waltz up in here and do whatever they wanted to us. We have a target. So, like, I appreciate police officers. So, so it's hard for you, like, if you're one of these people who goes, like, I understand the people who are writing, F police, it's like, that doesn't make sense. Why would you appreciate people causing damage and not people who are protecting you? That doesn't work. You can do whatever you want, though. I don't care. I literally don't care what you got to say. You go do what you want to do. I'm going to do me. This is my opinion. This is my vlog. I can say whatever I want. So, this episode, I'm not going to do music on this episode. Like, you know, honestly, I'm going to still do my thing. I'm still doing a podcast every week. We've got the vlog, obviously, once a week. And I do have a new song coming out this Friday called Get Em Off Me. I scheduled that song like two months ago. So I'm not going to cut it off and stop it just because of what's going on. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Like, I'm not stopping. I'm not. I'm not stopping. Like, I made a commitment. I made a commitment to do a song every two weeks, a podcast every day, and a vlog every week. Or a YouTube video every week. So I'm not going to slow that down for anything. But I also am going to come out here and use my platform for this reason and come out and say, hey, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm feeling. And there's more I could talk about, but if you want, go listen to the podcast a little bit longer than this, uh, and I get really more in-depth. I'm also going to have another podcast where I interview a friend of mine, talk more. Like, I'm going to talk a lot about this. Like, I'm going I'm to put out a lot of content. Not for clout, right? Not for clout. Not because I care what, like, this isn't for views. This isn't for clout. This isn't for brands. This isn't for conversions, right? This is for just, like, anybody who's listening, like, I just want you to know where I'm at. If it's two, three, four people, if it's one person, cool. Like, it's all good. You guys know where I'm at. Right? And this is Leezy the Gifted speaking. This is Gifted by Choice speaking. You know? We believe in, like, the right thing. You know? Everybody's gifted. And we believe in that. And we believe that, like, people should have, like, that equal opportunity. You know? So, honestly, if I were you, I would get out and, like, at least have conversations with people about this and like know what's going on like don't not know what's going on don't stop don't 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 pay attention don't be somebody who doesn't know what's going on that's that's dumb pay attention go see what's going on understand the situation because this is real right now it's crazy so hey I'm, I'm gonna sign out off here though this is like my longest vlog but i just need to get that off my chest i appreciate you a lot for staying engaged a lot I'm not going to plug anything this time. Like, you already know what it is. If you want to get with me, get with me. You know what you can do. You you know where the buttons are. You know the buttons I need you to press. You know where to find me. Like, go do those things. I'm not going to plug them all. You know what it is. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. Cool. All right? Appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, new songs coming this Friday. Pay attention to that. And I'm going to see you guys next week on the vlog. The podcast is still going hard. We're still doing it. So, appreciate you and stay gifted.